Hello everybody and welcome to this Trainsim TV video, this is Mark. Today I'm going to be taking another look at the Railways of Devon and Cornwall version 9, but from a train simulation perspective instead of the previous video that was done. We'll be taking a run on the new section from Whiteball down to Exeter, a quick 20 minute video, and we'll have a look at some of the features in there, the beautiful scenery in there once again from Simon and his team at high speed tracks, and we'll have a, a quick fly through. So here we go, we're in Whiteball Tunnel at the moment, the summit is just after the tunnel. From here we'll head down towards um, Tiverton Parkway, we'll make a quick stop. Helps if we put the headlights on. So there we are, we've just crested over White Ball Summit there now. And now we're heading down the hill. Soon picking up speed to Tiverton. Here we go for builds come as usual with one of Simon's routes, you get all the uh, detail on the side of the tracks. But that includes stuff like this, line side tr track and stuff like that. And there's a, a little scene on this corner here that I really love. you got a cross in here and it's actually got, uh, he's actually done it fully. Perfectly put the boards in, and then over here, this little scene with the border collies and the sheep and everything in a pen. Small little features like that that can make the big differences. Fields full of animals as well. Really does hit the spot in terms of uh, capturing that countryside feel. Applying the brakes now, ready for a stop at uh, Timson. Over there, you got the M5. So we'll just stop there at Tiverton Parkway. Nice bits of detail going on here. You've got the cycle path down the side there. Car park. I think the station I set itself is probably JT's original one from Bristol to Exeter. Uh, not 100% sure on that, but I believe it is. For its age, it doesn't actually look too bad to say that uh, this station asset is one of their oldest ones. It must be going on for 10 years old now. It still uh, doesn't look out of place. 
textures are a bit low, but uh, otherwise it looks fine. You got all the stop boards as you'd expect on these stations as well. Which are in for the IETs and the castle sets. We're just leaving Tiverton now. Again, nice detail with the uh, cycle path and all the fencing down this side as well. Over here, you got the M5. I like these little details, such as this sign. It's the actual sign from that location. Really nice detail, though. Next up, Tiverton Junction, where the old station used to be. Once again, really nice detail in here. Got the scrapyard and stuff down this end. And the old platforms are in. So I think you can now drive this route all the way from Whiteball to Liskard as well. You'll be able to drive further eventually. I know Simon wants to get right down to Penzance eventually. So to drive this distance is just uh, superb as it is. Little features like that, that I like as well. So you got the engineer's uh, access point, and a lot of developers, including myself, actually, have not really done much of that sort of thing. Uh, don't bother to put stuff like this in. This is a nice little touch. The actual pathway down. Nice detail. And again, the trackside details, where all the drains placed in and stuff like that. Sort of thing that's easily overlooked, but it makes a big difference when you do do it. Another thing that I want to have a look at down here is this area, uh, down by Columpson Services. Trying for the game to load in. So you got all these lobbies and stuff down here in the actual uh, service station, it's really cool how he's done that. Each one parked differently as well, they're not just all parked in a straight line, each one's sort of different. And you got the petrol station just over there as well. The services. Overall, just nice uh, sort of feel to it. So we're now curving away from Columpson, heading towards uh, Exeter gradually. 12 miles to go. This new section of line, the uh, section from Exeter to Whiteball, is around 21 miles. So it's a fair size of line actually, it's been added in version 9. 
So with version 9 you get everything you got in version 8 obviously. Uh, the general summary of that is that you get white ball to this card, which is south of Plymouth in Cornwall. That's over that's around a hundred miles journey just there. You get the Gunnies Lake and uh, Moors Water branches on the south end of the route. Uh, the north end of XT you get the Oakhampton branch, you get part of the Barnstopper branch, you also get the Exmouth branch as well. On top of all this you get Painton included. So overall you're getting a real chunk of route and it's free. Obviously there is a few requirements for it and there's quite a lot of them but the fact of the matter is that this, uh, you know, it's really worth getting. You know, the requirements for loan are worth it just for this route, in my opinion. It's one of the, the best routes available at the moment. I like the scenes that quite like the scenes that are possible as you're down by the motorway down here. And I appreciate how Simon's done this uh, foliage as well, because it's exactly how it is. It's not just a line of trees, there's little gaps here and there. And they've been captured perfectly. As has the overall feel of the hills and everything above. Very nice. We're just coming up to Halley and Bradnich. He's actually got the custom building over there as well. I'm not sure if that was a JT one, but the factory's in the correct spot over there. Can't quite see it at the minute. Over there. Lovely detail. So you got the old station and everything. I just love how in depth the, the uh, sort of detail is around here, all these different diggers and stuff, and then the foliage and the little lane through the middle cutting through. You still got the motorway over the back. It's so well thought out. So we've headed away from the motorway now, that's gone down the other side of the hills. We're heading directly towards Exeter. This is coming towards uh, the village of Rue, just before Stoke Cannon. Quite a famous photo location from this bridge actually. I just love the detail though, look at the streams and stuff. Each with their own little bridge. So well thought out. Now the run down to Stoke Cannon. A 
Look at the detail in there, that's great. I ah, see, Simon said this in a, in a stream that Tom was doing the other night, it's quite clever. The, uh, the JT mast hasn't got any actual fins on it, the old one. Hasn't got any like satellites on it, so it's put fence posts on, but then you look at them from a distance, you, you wouldn't know the difference. So we're now coming down towards Cowley Bridge Junction. On the last curve in. Line from Barnes to Porno Campton joins from the uh, right there, and you can drive that all the way to Morden Quarry, and I think a part way along the Barnes to branch as well. Not entirely sure how far along it is again that you can drive, but it's a few miles. Other sections route you get, you get the section Tarnington as well. Over here. You also get the Exmouth branch as I mentioned earlier. You get the Heathfield branch. As well as the Paynton and Paynton and Dartmouth. And you get a bit of Alston. And then as far as Liscard and the Morse Water. So the whole route that you actually got with scenery is from right down here all the way to right up here by Tiverton. There's a long way. A hundred miles. It's nearly a two hour journey in train sim terms. My game's a bit slow loading this area up. I need to do a reinstall at some stage. Never have the time or patience to do it. I don't run off an SSD at the moment either, so it's quite why my game's so slow. Oh, so extra is a very busy time. into Exeter St David's which is where we join on to where version 8 finished before just uh, the section here you got the new depot over there on the right which has just been built it's included as a custom asset with the route and I don't think I set a passenger destination up by the looks but you get the idea. We're arriving there into Exeter St. David's. Thanks once again for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Helm on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash TV underscore Tom. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you later. Goodbye.